Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk doing a video for exchange rates which is uh, commonly taught in Maths A in Queensland which is I think one of the most important life skills that you need to master if you're doing a bit of traveling and um, the main thing that you need to understand with exchange rates is the conversion table and I'm seeing a lot of videos on the internet don't really talk about it so here's a conversion table that you're gonna see outside a lot of currency conversion uh, stores so as you guys can probably tell from uh, my accent and everything else about me I'm living in Australia and this is the most uh, this is most likely what you're gonna see if you live in Australia and um, you probably think, okay, if I'm going from Australian dollars to US dollars, okay, one dollar Australian is going to buy me a certain amount of US dollars. But why are there two different prices? Okay, and that might be a bit confusing to you. So we're going to draw a simple picture that helps you understand everything to do with this table. So you don't even need to know what buying is or what selling is once I explain once we get the picture drawn so this is Australia where I'm living and if you live in the US or somewhere else then you can probably draw a country of your choice wherever your home country is wherever you're standing to see this conversion table okay now if you are converting from your home currency to another currency okay I'm living in Australia and I want to convert my money to US dollars then what you're gonna do is you're gonna multiply by the smaller amount multiply by the smaller amount out of these two prices so if I'm going from Australian dollars to US dollars there are two conversion rates here this is the smaller amount so I'm gonna multiply by the smaller amount regardless of where it says buying or selling if you want I can write multiply by selling right for this table but some tables they might have buying and selling reverse because it depends on who's selling are you selling um, or is the shop selling something to you we don't know so just multiply by the smaller amount when you are converting from your home currency to another currency and if you're going backwards um, so what I mean is if you're going from another country back to Australia and you want to convert for example some US dollars back into Australian dollars you would divide it by the larger amount okay so out of these two rates between Australia and US dollars I'm going to divide by this amount when I'm going from US dollars to Australian dollars so let's see with these two uh, pieces of information whether you can do some of these problems so question one convert a hundred dollars Australian to US dollars so refer to this diagram okay we're going from Australia to another country okay so we're gonna multiply by the smaller amount so if you read the table Australia to US is the second row here and which of these two amounts is the smaller amount? Um, this number is smaller, 7182. So you would go 100 multiplied by 0 0.7182. And that is going to equal $71.82. Okay, so that's question one completed. Let's do another one. Convert $200 Australian to New Zealand dollars. Read the diagram, do the question, and come back when you're done. So, we got $200 Australian. We are going to another country 
from Australia to another country, so we're going to multiply by the smaller amount. So if you read the third row, Australian dollars to New Zealand dollars, all right, this row here, which of these two amounts is smaller? It's this amount, multiplied by 1.0945. So I'm going to go times by 1.0945. And that is going to equal 218 dollars point nine. Okay, ninety cents. Okay, so that is um, how you would go from Australian dollars to another currency. You would multiply by the smaller rate. I should probably say rate instead of amount, but anyway. Um, now I'm going to do the reverse. So I'm going to go question three. Convert. Um, let's say three hundred dollars euro to Australian dollars. So. Let's have a look. You're going from another country back into Australian dollars. So you would divide by the larger amount. So out of these two rates, which rate is larger? The buying rate is larger. So you would go 300 divided by the larger amount, which is 0 0.6836. And the answer is... Four hundred and um, thirty-eight dollars and eighty-five cents. Okay, so now that we understand all this, let's now finally talk about why there are two different amounts. Okay, why there are two different amounts? Why can't it just be one? Why can't we just use the same rate? And the answer to that is the difference in the rate you can think of as the commission that the currency exchange service uh, earns while they are converting money for you right why would they convert why would they do a service for you for free because it's not free okay by helping you convert between different currencies they're earning the difference between these rates so for example let's say that Okay, Eddie converts two hundred, uh, sorry, five hundred Australian dollars into RMB, which is um, what they use in China. You can think of as Chinese dollars or something, um, but decides. To convert back into Australian dollars immediately. All right, so I changed my mind. How much money does he lose? So, if I'm going from Australian dollar to another currency, According to the diagram, I multiply by the smaller amount. So Australian dollar to another currency, uh, RMB, I would multiply by the smaller amount, which is 4.6458. So I go 500 times 4.6458. And that gives me 2000 three hundred and twenty two dollars and ninety cents now I decided to convert back straight away because I'm an idiot divided by okay divided by the larger amount which is uh, four point seven one 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 and let's see what that gives me that gives me four hundred and ninety three dollars and uh, seven cents okay so I have lost 
500 minus 493.07, which is $6.93 uh, because of my stupidity, because I decided to just convert money for no reason. Okay, so make sure when you convert money, you you understand that you are spending a bit of money uh, for the currency uh, exchange place to do this service for you. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.